What's up, gorgeous people? This is Amber's DIY and other stuff. I'm Amber, and in this video, I am finally, and I do mean finally, <laughs> ready to film my beauty box video for all of the beauty boxes that I got in the month of August. So I normally wanted this video to go up the first Saturday of each month, but unfortunately I got very sick, so I was not able to do that. So this is, I think you're better late than never. This stuff has been sitting here. I honestly have not opened it. I have no idea what's inside. I just sat it all here waiting to do the video, and then I got sick and couldn't do it. So let's go ahead and start with Ipsy, all right? <laughs> so this is my Ipsy glam bag, and this will be for the month of August. So let's go ahead and pop her open and see what, ooh, we got the card on the outside of the bag. Is that it? Okay, throw that aside. What do we got? Save the date. Oh, I missed all this. Most of it's in August. Yeah, no, I missed it all. I even missed the September stuff. Again, I was sick, so I didn't know. All right, so they do have all the products listed that I got in the bag. Awesome. The bag itself is so pretty, you guys. Look at this. Loving the leaves. Love the pink with the green. I think this is super cute, and I it's like a satiny kind of feel, and it has a gold leaf zipper pull, so that's really cute, too. I really like this bag a lot. It's really cute. So... <clears throat> Before I go any further, I just want to let you guys know I am going to cancel the Ipsy Glam Bag for um, next year. So this will, I'll just get what I have remaining in my subscription. And after that, I'm not going to renew because I do have a lot of stuff. And this is more samples kinds of things. So I'm not going to get this one after this year. I do like it in the little bags, but I do have a lot of the little bags. So I think I'm good right now. And I just don't think that I want to waste money getting it next year. So there you go. <laughs> All right. So the first thing in here is Dew of the Gods. What is this? Fiji Fuji. What? It's a collagen whip vitamin mask. Okay. I mean, that was like a lot. Here's the little front part of it here. And then they have somebody that has the mask on on the side here. So yeah, I mean, I'll definitely give it a try. It looks like, I mean, how much do you have in here? I'm shaking it like that's going to tell me. <laughs> Um, I don't see the ounces, but I bet I can probably get maybe two out of it. Definitely one, obviously, but maybe two. So on here, it does say that it's a deluxe sample and the, um, retail price of the full size version of this is 42 bucks. If you like it, will I ever get the full size? No. I won't. So that's why I want to stop getting a subscription also, guys, because this is more of samples, so you can try stuff to see if you like it, and if you like it, you can get the big ones. I'm never going to buy it, so why get that? It's kind of silly. I'd rather just get the big ones in my boxy charm, so I will keep getting that, and my Diva Bag by Sonia, then mess with this one. I'm just saying. All right, so we have Dr. Scrub. It's an exfoliator. I mean, who's it? Gold Fat and MD. Here you go. So here's what it is, you guys. I'm sorry I'm taking so long in this, but I'm just like telling you guys stuff in between. I might use that. I might put it in a giveaway. The retail price of the full size version, you get 50 milliliters for 38 bucks. Again, won't be doing that. Koki translucent setting powder. I don't use setting powder. I have tried Koki products and I do like it. I uh, uh, like them. I think that they're really good products. So that's cool. So this is actually a full size item. Look at that. But again, I don't use setting powder, so I will definitely put this in a giveaway. And the retail price of this um, full-size Koki setting powder is $10. That's what I like about that company is they send you things that are reasonably priced, or they sell things that are reasonably priced. So California Dreamin' Dream Leave-In Conditioner by Foxy Bay. Oh, that's cool. I'm definitely excited to give that a try. Um, and if it's really good, this might be something that I would buy the full-size version of because it's only 15 bucks. So that's reasonable. And now I just, I'm not making my case about keep not getting the subscription anymore, am I? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yenza Super Serum Silk Fo Silk Foundation. Oh, well, this sounds kind of good. Look at that. Hmm. Did they send the right color, guys? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. <clears throat> it is sealed, but I'm going to unseal it because I'm curious. Let's see. Did they send me the right shade? Ooh, it's dark. I don't know that it's the right shade, but here it is, you guys. Oh, look at that going down, downhill. Let's rub it in. Okay. You know what? That is one thing BoxyCharm does do for me. They give me the right shade. Or Ipsy. They always give me the right shade. Look at that. You can't see that at all. That is perfection. When I order for myself, like I try to get a shade for myself, I always order the wrong shade. <laughs> they know me better than I know myself. I don't know, guys. 
now I'm not making the case of canceling it. I mean, I did make that decision, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys, so that was my Ipsy glam bag for the month of August. I don't even know how much that one is a month. I pay for it by the year. So here is my August BoxyCharm box. We got a nice thick box this month. Let's have a look at what we have inside. Now, these next two will be good comparison boxes because the BoxyCharm, I think, went up to like $27 or something a month, something like that. And then the Diva Bag by Sonia is $25 a month. So this will be good comparison boxes. Really excited about that. So this is Dusk Till Dawn is the theme for this BoxyCharm box. They do have a list of all the products, and as you guys know, I, of course, did not tally them up. Why would I do that? <laughs> I never remember to do that. So glad the foam is back. I do use the foam. Okay, so what do we have here? Sunset to the Stars Lip Oil. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can't really read the brand. That's why I didn't say it. Tana Ayas. I don't know. Anyways, um, the retail version of this is $27. This is the full-size version. In BoxyCharm, you do get full-size products. Uh, ooh, it's actually pretty, you guys. I was, like, not excited, but now I'm actually kind of excited. I don't know. Let's just, you know, why not? Okay, let's have a look. Um, all right. <laughs> you know, I'm not actually mad at that at all. I was not excited at first, but, you know, <clears throat> it changed my mind. What do we got here? Avant. It's a cleansing gel. Okay. I don't know. Age radiance. I need some age radiance. That's for sure, you guys. I don't know. I don't like this getting old stuff. It's not fun. That's for sure. Holy cow. Whoa. Guys. This is 3.38 fluid ounces, full-size version of this product, and the cost of it is $110. Dude, even if I like it, unless it makes me look like I'm 10 years old again, um, well, we'll go with 18. I want to be legal, but um, I don't ever see myself buying this. I'm just saying, wow, I did not expect that to be so expensive. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to have it in this box because I for sure won't buy it. Again. If it makes me look like I'm 18 or in my 20s, okay. Or I might. All right. All right. Metallic Eye Sparkle by Girlactic. I do like this brand. I guess I should hold it this way. I do like this brand a lot. Um, most of the stuff that I've gotten from them has not been disappointing. So let's go ahead and pop this open and see what's going on in here. <clears throat> okay. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty. So I'm going to pop it all the way open because, you know, this will definitely be something that I keep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is beautiful beautiful okay yeah really like that that's that's awesome all right let's wipe that off my hand um so the full size oh that is the full size amber you're off the ipsy <laughs> so that is a full size product and it's 20 dollars is the retail price of it okay so we got cab cosmetics loose setting powder so i got setting powder in my ipsy and now i have it here in my boxy charm not cool but, you know, even though they are one and the same company, like the same people own it, it's two separate companies. So, you know, how could they know? But, yeah, not excited about that. I'll definitely put it in a giveaway. Um, the retail price of it is 30 bucks. Okay, so the last thing in here is kind of big. I don't know. What's going on here? It's got to be brushes. La Rouge. Oh, it's a nice little case there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, here's the brand. Let me just show you that. This is great packaging, that's for sure. How do I open it? Do I just pull it off? Yeah, you just pull it off. Okay, so, yeah, we got some brushes, yeah, guys. Look at that. <clears throat> Not mad at that at all. Um, they feel, you know. Fine. The only one I might not use is this one here. I don't find myself using that. The rest of them I'll definitely use. So, okay, let me put them back in their little holder here. Not mad at that at all. This box isn't bad, you guys. I mean, aside from the astronomically priced uh, cleanser, it's not a bad box. Okay, so ba -ba 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 $50 for brushes? Holy cow. Let's see if I can do this in my head. I might be able to do it in my head, guys. All right, here we go. $110 for the, you know, ridiculously priced cleansing stuff. And then $50 for the brush set. So we're at $160. Woo! My school ended me some good, huh? And then the Girlactic um, eyeshadow stuff here. That is $20. So we're at $180. Yay! 
Yay! All right, and then we have the Cab Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder right here. So that value was $30. So we were at $180. So we're now we're at $210. Yeah. All right, great school in there, kids. All right, and then this last thing here. What is, the, does this go in here? No. No, that went in my Ipsy. Whoops, I'm getting things confused here. What's the last thing? What am I missing, you guys? Oh, the lip oil. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. It's around here. The lip oil I put on, you guys remember, right? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, anyways, the value is $27. So we were at one or two ten. So the total value is $237. <laughs> Look at that. Toronto schools did me some good. Okay. Um, so yeah, that was the value of this box, and that is my August boxy charm. Now let's go ahead and jump into my favorite one, my absolutely favorite one. As long as Sonia has a bag of some sort, I don't care what it is, I will always get her a subscription. She never disappoints me. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into my August Diva bag by Sonia. This is more of a lifestyle kind of a lifestyle slash beauty box because it does include clothing and accessories. She kind of wanted to pivot from her uh, makeup bag that she used to do each month and do something that was more of a lifestyle box. And that's what she came, and this is what she came up with. So it's still called the Diva bag by Sonia. I'll have it linked in the description box below and it is $25 a month plus shipping and handling. It does not include the shipping and handling. For me, I think it comes out to about 30 bucks. Okay, <clears throat> so, oh, so freaking cute. I love Sonia. All right, let me cover this up so you guys can see. Right here, I love how she always puts this on here. It says, to the beautiful Amber Meeks. How awesome. I love that she does that. I think it is so super fun. All right, so let's go ahead and see what Sonia's got in store for me. Ooh, here's a sneak a peek. Look, all those little ball things. I hate these things. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan. I don't even know where. Oh, look. Oh, awesome. There's like a little bucket sitting here. Couldn't have been a better place for it. And I'm just throwing them all in the bucket. Oh, we got a little lollipop action happening. So all these are going into a bucket, guys. I'm just not throwing them all over the place. Although I do do that a lot in my unboxing. <clears throat> They're going into a bucket that happens to be sitting here because I was working on something. So... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing with these. Okay, <clears throat> we have, what flavor is this? It looks like it's chocolate or something. Oh, root beer. So we have a root beer um, lollipop. Root beer is definitely not my flavor. I do like root beer the drink, but yeah, she always puts the little shirt on top of it. We're going to do that last. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to get to, oh, she has her little card here. It says, hey, diva. All right, so it says, so excited to share with you a few of my favorite fall things. So this is a fall box, but this is the August box. But I got it towards the end of August, so, you know, we're getting into fall. Great. A beautiful scarf. Ooh, and a scarf pin. A look. Scarf pin. A. Looks good on everyone. Lipstick. A fun shirt in a color I hope you love. And, of course, this amazing statement necklace. Woo, exciting. <laughs> These earrings are from one of her boxes. Again, this isn't for everybody. Uh, my style is definitely not for everybody. But she does have a, um, what is the word? I don't want to call it a survey. But she has something that you fill out so that you can let her know the types of things that you like. So if you aren't crazy like me and you don't like crazy, you want things that are more toned down, then you can just let her know that when you take the little quiz or beauty quiz or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so please let me know two things. Do you want Halloween-specific items or just general fly items? What color shirt would you prefer? Oh. Well, well she's giving me some options. I hope I'm not too late. Um, she did give me a phone number to text my answers to, and I will do that. I definitely want Halloween-specific items. Holiday me up, girl. If you see this video, just holiday me up, all right? Anytime you have holiday stuff up, uh, going on, always just send me the holiday stuff. I'm all about it. Okay. <clears throat> What is this? The Agave Project? The Agave Project is a way for Jose Cuervo to honor its roots aimed at continuing Jose Cuervo's longstanding commitment to the land and people of tequila and Mexico. 12 agave straws. What? What is agave straw? What is it though, guys? I don't drink. What, what does that mean? Ah, oh, to come out of guys, drinking straw made from upcycled agave fiber. The first of its kind. Hmm. Well, this is 
interesting. I, it has alcohol pictures, so I don't know that this is for me specifically. This is what I'm talking about, though. She gets some of the coolest, unique stuff, and I love that about her. But I just don't know that this particular thing is for me. I definitely can pass it off to somebody else in my family, but I don't know that I will use that, but it's very cool. Ooh, she does sell Mary Kay, and we have a Mary Kay lipstick here. Look at the packaging. It's so awesome. What um, color is it? Oh, wait, am I opening it wrong? How do you open it? guys is it sealed is this this out, out, outer casing oh my gosh you guys i kid you not i don't know how to open this oh got it got it okay ah oh, it's very fancy you guys Ooh. so it's a nice like nude kind of a color which is good because i do wear those colors a lot let's see if you guys are no you're not going to see it at all it's definitely more of a of a like uh, how do I say it? Like a chapstick kind of a situation. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use Look, I got lipstick on the out thing because I didn't know how to use this. Very cool. But, you know, apparently it's a little too offensive for people like me. All right, love it though. So then we have a Chroma Fusion eyeshadow. Okay, guys, here's the packaging right here, but I don't know. Let's open this up here. Oh, again, it's more of a like toned down kind of a color which like I said before, is totally fine. <gasps> oh, it just fell out. That was silly of me. Let's go ahead and swatch a Rooney it. Oh, I love that color though. Look at that. That is cool. Definitely down for that. Let me wipe some of this stuff off you guys. I have a lot going on right here. Okay. All right. So then we have, what is this? Uh, is this the necklace? Yeah, this must be the necklace. It's definitely different. I'll say not. <laughs> Let's open it up, you guys. See what we have going on here. Oh. 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 Whoa, I love it. Guys, it's like stretchy and stuff. Oh, you guys aren't going to see it like that. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is super fun and super stretchy. I don't like it, though. Can you guys see it? <laughs> Okay, let me take it off and show it to you guys. I really do like it. Not even kidding. I love this. This is definitely super, super different, you guys. Wow. I definitely didn't expect that. When she said statement necklace, uh, this isn't what I had in my head, but it is definitely making a statement, let me tell you. You know what I love about it is that it is orange. Oh my gosh, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> is that it is orange for fall. Sorry, guys. I still get kind of dizzy and stuff, and I've been standing here for almost 17 minutes. Um, almost 18 minutes, I mean. Um, but at any rate, yeah, this is really cool. I'm super excited about it. Can you believe I just almost fell? I'm standing here. And that's what I'm saying. COVID has a lasting effect on people. I didn't mean to say that word on my video, but hopefully I don't get dinged for it. Okay, so then we have a Tropical Fruit Punch um, sucker. And, ooh, we have a really pretty pin, you guys. I love this fall stuff. Okay, this is going to be really cool because I love doing all the Halloween stuff. I know Halloween isn't for everybody, but I love it. And I love all the fall stuff. Look at this pin, you guys. Oh, my gosh. That is freaking gorgeous. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Okay, so how does it work? Oh, I see. So I would just put this. Well, I don't want to put it through this particular shirt because I know it's going to leave holes. But you guys are going to see this pin. You will definitely see this pin for sure. I'm going to wear it. I love it. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. What a great idea. I'm loving it, Sonia. You always kill it, girl. I just love this box. Okay, look at this gorgeous scarf. So, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous that is. That is so pretty, you guys. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Okay, so definitely going to wear the scarf. I was not a scarf person until um, my cow and a monthly started sending me some really cool scarves. So now I'm definitely a scarf person. Okay, so the very last thing that I'm going to show you in this box is the shirt. Again, guys, I got all of this stuff for just $25 plus shipping and handling. Totally worth it. Okay, so this one is Thou Shalt Not Try Me. Mood 24-7. <laughs> that is cute, you guys. Look at that. Super cute shirt. I love it. Now, I did tell her to send me um, 
like a really large sizes because I like to have my stuff oversized and honestly I end up DIYing these in some way shape or form you're actually going to see some of the other ones that she sent me in future videos now that I have three uh, maybe I'll just do DIYs on all three of them but this is really super cute you guys I love the color I love what it says I think it is really cute so again guys this one is $25 a month this was the diva bag by Sonia so let me know which one was your favorite was it the ipsy glam bag but we're not going to include that one. Let's just include BoxyCharm and the Diva Bag by Sonia since they're very close in price. Which one was your favorite of those two boxes? For me, hands down, Sonia is probably going to win every single time. But uh, the BoxyCharm was a good box this month. I'm not mad about it at all. All right, guys, that wraps up what I got in the, for the month of August for my beauty boxes. I will have what I got for the month of September, the first Saturday next month. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! I'm Amber, and in this video, I'm finally ready to film the comparison video for all of my beauty boxes. Oh, I don't want to call it a comparison. I don't know what to call it. Hold on.